Hey guys, what's up? It's Dane at Zim's Guitars and I got a box. It's got a guitar in it. Let's open this thing up and let's take a look at this. Oh, it's just so much fun to open up a new guitar. Let's see what's in here. So, actually, what we're looking at here is a sawtooth guitar. Yeah, so what we're looking at is the Sawtooth ST24M. I love the maple. Look, it's got these big black box inlays. And it's kind of a nice flat finish. The white pickups. The white knobs. Maple neck. Cool looking sort of Sawtooth Super Strat. And this was designed by the legendary guitarist Michelangelo Beto. And when I was out at NAMM, I went, I actually went to the Sawtooth booth and uh, saw a couple guys jamming and saw them showing off these new guitars. This is a Wilkinson Bridge string through body. Got the three way selector switch and the two humbuckers. But yeah, like I was saying, I was out at the um, out at NAM and I got to hang out with those guys at Sawtooth and saw Vinny Apice playing some of their drums. There's a video if you look way back on my channel of me hanging out there. Uh, both on Canadian Maple Neck, 24 frets, 15 inch radius, so it's it's kind of flat, so it's good for those shredders. Medium jumbo frets, 25 and a half inch scale length. So it's definitely a super strat style of guitar. Look at that, it's got a nice little, to Rick, my buddy Rick. He dropped this off and he said, hey, you can do a video about this. But I have to say right off the bat, I, I'm impressed. I like the weight of the guitar. It doesn't say what the weight is right in here, but I am going to guess, um, I'm going to guess in seven pound range. You know what? Let's go back. Let's plug it in. I'll make a little bit of noise with this thing. new sawtooth just out of the box. I'm going to tune it up here a little bit. Whenever I uh, tune a guitar and I really pull on the strings, I never pull on it where you could... I've actually broken a nut one time by yanking on a string and I broke the nut. So I always put one hand down here before I start tugging on these things. As soon as you break one once, you learn your lesson on how to do it. So I always kind of keep one hand down here so that I don't break that nut. And then sometimes I even push down on the other side of the nut here. Because you can see it's really, it's, it, it's hanging up in the nut. That helps it to kind of slide through there. So you do the old Iron Man thing, right? And I can see that one's hanging up in the nut too. But that is to be expected. Um, it's got a nice gloss on the back of the neck, so it's not a satin finish neck. Canadian maple, it looks beautiful. I do see the scarf joint right here, so it is two-piece. It's got a nice neck angle on it. Let me take my tuner off. Well, I'm not done tuning just yet, so. Guess I better leave that on there for a minute. Okay, so uh, my high E string is in tune. Let's just check a little intonation while we're here. I always hit the harmonic at the 12th fret, and then you hit the string. 
It looks great. Try the B string. The B string's a little tiny bit sharp. Do the old G string. Get it to where it's showing that it's in tune. string is sharp too so a little bit of intonation needs to be done here I love to see anything where they use Canadian maple um, I've got a couple Godins in 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 the store so maybe I'll get around to showing you guys a couple of Godins but again, I went out to Nam this spring before the world completely changed. And I was at the saw booth. I keep saying that. I was at the sawtooth booth. And they have a really nice low priced inventory of amps, guitars, and even drums. <laughs> I think the block inlays look great. I love the flat black with the white. Got no whammy bar. The, but, but that is a good thing for, um, it, you know, this is a $212 guitar. So this is, this is a great guitar for a beginner. And having the hardtail like that, you're not going to Give it to a kid that's not going to be able to tune it. It's, good. it's a great guitar for a, bit, a beginner. and uh, the fret ends feel nice and smooth so again guitars are getting so much better right around the $200 price point <laughs> crunch on it and see what happens. And I'll go back into the bridge. There, I'll level the mids out a little bit. <laughs> to have 22 frets, that's that's awesome. And uh, like I said earlier, a 15 inch radius, so it's relatively flat. I know a lot of strats are like nine and what is it nine and a half inch radius so this one's really flat compared to uh, Stratocaster let's go over to some uh, 
lead and see what happens. Uh, Guys, I really like it. I mean, for 212 bucks delivered to your house, I don't think you can go wrong. It's the Sawtooth. They're brand new. Check them out, okay? And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Um.